Now, even if people, though, aren't interested, Jake, in hockey, necessarily Utah taxpayers could help pay for some of this new NHL jazz arena that they're looking at or a lot of other things that are proposed for this entertainment sports zone. Looking at a half-cent sales tax increase, so 0.5%, um, that would not include the suburbs, though. So only the, or the Wasatch Front, rather, just for purchases in proper Salt Lake City. But is that fair to Salt Lake locals? Our Brian Mullay, he was out asking people on the streets today. Is that fair? That nah, probably isn't fair. Probably should be broader um, for, you know, because the surrounding areas ought to be are, paying. Or, you know, they're benefiting from it as well. If Salt Lake City's gonna pay, other people should pay too. Sure, it's gonna be a Utah team. We read that yesterday, right? It's not Salt Lake City team, it's a Utah team. So that is interesting. It, it's definitely a point that they make. So the legislature, the state legislature, passed a law giving the Salt Lake City Council the option to be able to raise a half cent sales tax to raise potentially a billion dollars over 30 years to pay for a new entertainment district. You know, they said they maybe think that more of the state should pay. I can I can understand <laughs> why, why the people in Salt yeah. Lake wouldn't want to. I also get why other cities might be like, well, it's not going to be built in our city. It's not going to be built in Midvale. It's not going to be built in Provo. Why should they pony right. up the money? But, you know, tough to have to pay a billion bucks. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of money. If the Salt Lake Council approves the half cent tax hike, as we said, up to a billion dollars could be used for a new arena, a revamped Delta Center, demolition, improvements for potential aesthetics, entertainment, recreational, or safety reasons inside the zone area, uh, debt service as well. So the question is, will all that be worth it to the taxpayers to have that entertainment zone? Well, it sounds like there's a lot of interest. They've already sold a lot of tickets already somehow with news of it.